Week 17 of the fantasy football season, and here's the top 12 kickers I'm ranking this week. Number one, Justin Tucker of the Baltimore Ravens. So Tucker, another great season it's been for him. And this Baltimore team, the first seed in the AFC. So Tucker's getting opportunities weekly. We know he's got one of the best boots of all time, about kicking 90% field goal rate in his career and this week in a shootout versus Miami I like him once again as a great option number two Tyler Bass of the Buffalo Bills so the last couple weeks I know the fantasy points have gone down for Tyler Bass but this week a decent matchup with New England coming to town with their bend but don't break type of defense and they give up top five fantasy points to kickers on the season so Tyler Bass another kicker like Tucker where his range is limitless for Tyler Bass it's a home game for Buffalo and this Buffalo Bill team they've been playing well now over the last month of the season so I think once again, opportunities to be there for Tyler Bass. New England, their defense has been middle of the pack in the red zone. And there's going to be some field goal attempts in this one. Number three, Brandon Aubrey of the Dallas Cowboys. So Brandon Aubrey, he's been perfect this season. He hasn't missed a field goal. And this Cowboy team over the last couple weeks, they've stalled out at drives where they've had to settle for field goals. So this week in a potential shootout Saturday night versus the Detroit Lions, where I think both teams are going to go up and down the field and put points on the board here. Brandon Aubrey's a kicker that's been perfect. It's a home game which is indoors as well for Dallas. The top kick is going into the week number four, Jason Sanders of the Miami Dolphins. This was the hero last week in the game for Miami. He hit 350 plus yarders in that one versus the Cowboys and then a game winning chip shot to walk it off. So this week in a shootout at Baltimore where I think both offenses can go up and down the field. Both kickers are great kickers this season and Sanders he's had four games in a row now with double digit fantasy points. I think once again there's a good possibility he goes into Baltimore and finds that double digit mark once again. Number five Jake Elliott of the Philadelphia Eagles. So Jake Elliott it's been a great season kicking the football and he's on one of the top offenses in the week so this week with a good match of versus the arizona cardinals that don't stop anyone eagles putting up a lot of points still even though they've definitely been in a tailspin over the last month of the season now you're coming off a 17 point fantasy game i think once again goes out there and has a good one number six young hoku of the atlanta falcons a young hoku what a ball game it was for him last week 19 fantasy points and this week i know a tougher environment to kick at chicago where the wind's going to be blowing not a great kicker's field especially the grass over there and we know Koo's been a better kicker at home in Atlanta in the Dome than he's been on the road throughout his career. But Koo, one of the best kickers of all time at the 90% tile of field goals made. And this week in Chicago, I think once again, Atlanta's going to get in some field goal range, get Koo opportunities. And he's been solid, like I said, all season. Number seven, Harrison Bucker of the Kansas City Chiefs. So he's been a good kicker this season, Harrison Bucker, in terms of percentage and getting it through the upright, only missing one field goal on the season but the chances believe it or not really haven't been there week in and week out for Harrison Bucker with this Chief team pretty much it's been touchdowns or short range field goals but last week the Chiefs didn't score much their offense hasn't been the same this season with a lot of receivers dropping passes and even Patrick Mahomes has been turning the football over a little bit of late so Harrison Bucker on this Chief team this season it's definitely not been the offense it was so this week he's down at number seven, number eight, Evan McPherson of the Cincinnati Bengals. Evan McPherson, it's been a solid year for Money Mac once again. One of the better kickers in the league. Limitless type of range for him, 50, 55 yards. He could kick pretty easy. And this week, it's a decent matchup at the Kansas City Chiefs. A bend but don't break type of defense where field goal opportunities have been there throughout the year for opposing kickers. So I think Evan McPherson in a game where they're going to need points and try to grind it out is a Cincinnati Bengal team. I think McPherson could be a decent option once again this week. Number nine, Jake Moody of the San Francisco 49ers. So Jake Moody this season, a lot of ball games with extra points. He's on a high-powered offense, one of the best offenses in the league. And this week, though, on paper, a great matchup at the Commanders that give up the most fantasy points to kickers on the season. So Moody's got a big boot. He was drafted in the NFL draft for a reason. I know he had a little bit of a hiccup in the middle weeks, but the last few weeks he's been solid kicking the football. And this week at Washington, a lot of opportunities will be there, and he could have a great game. Number 10, Daniel Carlson of the Las Vegas Raiders. Carlson, it's been a solid season once again. An indoor game in Indianapolis, which is always a plus for any kicker. Not to deal with the outdoor elements, wind, rain, or whatever. Obviously, and especially in December where it's just cold out there. So this week in Indianapolis, a potential mini shootout between these two teams. I think Dylan Carlson could get a few opportunities. And like I said, indoors is always a plus. Number 11, Cameron Dicker of the Los Angeles Chargers. So Dicker has been a perfect kicker this season here. Not missing any field goals. And last week, he put on a show 
over 20 fantasy points at the kicking position. So this week, a matchup at the Denver Broncos with their defense, they've been vulnerable to giving up kicks. We saw last week, Ryan went at a few opportunities, but he did miss two, but he did hit the big one 50 plus yards to end that ball game. So in Denver, good altitude, the ball really carries and one of the better kicking fields in the league. I think Dicker once again goes out there and has a good performance. And the 12th and final kick round rankings, Cairo Santos of the Chicago Bears. So Santos, he got a nice deal re-signing four year, $16 million extension with this Bear team last week. And Santos, he's been a kicker that's been accurate and barely missing field goals this season. And this Bear offense is an offense that stalled out a lot especially in the red zone this season. So right now, this week, with a decent matchup where Lane is a bend-but-don't-break type of defense, I think Cairo Santos will get a few opportunities. I think both kickers, obviously, Young Hoku and Santos, will have two, three chances each. And this could be a grinded-out type of ball game over there in Chicago this week with Santos being an accurate kick to getting rewarded, like I mentioned, with the extension. So that's the top 12 kickers I'm ranking for week 17 of the fantasy football season.